Everyone always says start small, finish little projects. And that's great advice, but where does that leave your big ideas? If it's best to put them on a shelf for later, what's the big idea shelf look like? Is it a graveyard where dreams slowly gather dust and die? Maybe you've already completed a bunch of little projects and you're starting to work on a bigger one and you're struggling with organizing and expanding upon the details of all the aspects of the story that you want to make. The strategy we're going to talk about here is to make a wiki for the characters, locations, creatures, and historical events in your world. That way you can keep it all together, fill in the details, and get to wondering about the most interesting questions without the pressure of directly working on the project itself. But what's the easiest way to make a wiki? Well, there's an app that I use for to-do lists called Notion, and it's free, it's an all-in-one workspace for notes and task lists. And it's really, really easy for a non-tech creative person to use. Uh, I also like that it's really easy to access. I have my important workspaces on the toolbar of my browser, so I can just click on it if I have an idea. I also really like that it's easy to share, like I'm sharing the template with you. They have plenty of templates for various things like design systems or job applications, but I couldn't find a wiki template that would work for creative world building. So I made a template for that, and you can get it at the link below. It's pretty simple, I just wanted to get an outline together for different things in case you wanted to try this. At the top, I have formatted a couple to-do lists, and below are the contents of the wiki separated into characters, locations, creatures, religions, artifacts, and historical events. And the format of each is just what you'd expect from Wikipedia. To create an entry for one of your characters, all you need to do is click on the handle and select duplicate. Then right click to rename it to one of your characters. Click on the template and you can fill in all the info for whatever character. By design, it mostly matches the look of the wiki format you are familiar with, like there's a table of contents for the sections, but one difference is that I have a list at the top because whenever you wonder something, it's really important to keep track of those questions. You don't have to have the answers. If you aren't making much progress in your ideas, chances are you might not even be catching the questions your ideas evoke. Big picture, the approach here is a bimodal way to work. You can quote unquote procrastinate working on your story by coming up with interesting details of your world. And then hopefully you're extra motivated to write your story because it's really the only way to answer some of the questions that will come up. I find my creative rhythm by switching between different but complementary modes of working. It keeps me interested and motivated. So give it a try, see if it works.